What's up, learners? Aqui é o Junior Silveira, sou professor de inglês online e o mensageiro da brilhagem, Stephanie Turkowicz. What's up, learners? She's here again with us. Back again. Back again to teach you five different ways to say... You're welcome. Very good. <laughs> learners, todo mundo aí sempre fala you're welcome quando você vai dizer de nada, não é verdade? You're welcome is pretty common uh, yeah. among Brazilian uh, learners. Yeah, I believe you can say you're welcome, but in a different way. This uh, you're welcome is a very formal response to. Mm. So these are more casual. It helps you like build a more casual relationship with the person that you're talking to. So this five different ways that we're going to teach you, you can use like at bars, restaurants, uh, stores. Yeah. Uh, so somebody friends. brings you a drink refill and they set it on uh -huh. the table and you say. Oh, I say, oh, thank you. And I say, no problem. No problem. Let me know if you need another one, no oh, problem. So no problem is the first one, thank you. No problem. Okay, no problem, which means, uh, sem problemas, tá tudo bem, tranquilo, sem problemas, okay? You say, sem problemas. Sem problemas. Sem problemas. Sem problemas. Sem problemas. Very good, which means... That's a lot of <laughs> work for my tongue. <laughs> Some Brazilians say, uh, problema. Pro Problema. Po problema. 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 But the right way is problema. Problema. Okay, you got it. I got it. <laughs> she got one. She got she got one. One second. out of the three is good. Yeah. yeah. So the second one on the list is We're at the hotel and we go to the front desk uh -huh. and we ask the lady to do something for us. Mm -hmm. And she does, and then you say Thank you. And I say, My pleasure. My pleasure. Wow. So that one can be used in a setting where it's like a hotel, where mm. someone's providing service to you. Okay. And they want to let you know that they're comfortable to do anything that you might need to make mm -hmm. your experience better. But my pleasure, but this letter S has like a J sound, pleasure. Pleasure. Doesn't it? I guess. Yeah, I never thought about it. No? Because <laughs> like junior, junior, uh, G, yeah. G, yeah. pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. yeah. You, you haven't thought about it? No. No? Because, well, if I couldn't speak English, I would say pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, because sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Play, pleasure. 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 But the right pronunciation? My pleasure. My pleasure. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> My pleasure in Portuguese is like prazer é meu. O prazer é meu. O prazer é meu. O prazer é meu. O prazer. O prazer. O prazer. É meu. É meu. You é got meu. it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> the third form on the list is. I can't come up with a. Yeah, <laughs> with the <laughs> Okay, you are just about to get your car. The driver got it to you. He well, opens the door. You get in and say. Thank you. And he says, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it. It's like... Uh, Anything you want. You got take it. Take it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Can I use them this way too? Mm-hmm. Oh, you got it. You got it. Okay. In Portuguese, it's like, deixa comigo? No. É isso aí. 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 The fourth form on the list is... You're in the clothes store and you go to the woman and you say, Do you have this in my size? And she says, let me go check. And she goes and brings it out and you say... Thank you. And she says, absolutely. So the letter T, you do not pronounce. Absolutely. Absolutely. Clino. Yeah, no T. Absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. In Portuguese, it's like absolutamente. <laughs> so much. Absol <laughs> absolutamente. Absolutamente. Very good. Absolutamente. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we were staying at a hotel and you realize like you misplaced your key. So you go back down to the front desk and you ask like, could you make me another key? And then she says, sure. And you mm -hmm. give it to me and you say, thank you. And I say, no worries. No worries. No worries. No worries is like, sem problemas. 
Sem problema. Yeah, sem, sem problemas. No worries, no problem. Or não se preocupe. Não se preocupe. Não se preocupe. Yes, That yes. That won't work. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, because you have to use no. it's like nasal. a nasal sound. No. Não, não. Se, não. se si. preocupe. 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 Very good. Não se preocupe. Yes. Se pre Oh. <laughs> it's so hard. It's equally hard to learn Portuguese. Though. Yeah, but she's. You going... think English is hard? Everything is hard when you're trying to learn. But, but you she... can do it. But she's going to Brazil soon. She's going to study Portuguese. I'm sure she will. And then she's going to learn a little bit more. Little I heard language. of this really great teacher that I could hire. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I paid her. To no problem. That. Right? <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like this video, learners? So please leave a comment here and tell us which way, which form to say your you love prefer. you prefer, okay? Comment, comment. Don't forget to follow Stephanie on her Instagram account and also to follow her podcast, Orlando Out of Context. No problem. You got it. You got it, dude. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you, Stephanie. Thanks. E lembre-se todos vocês. Lembre-se. See you around. Bye. <laughs> Yay! Tá tudo colado aqui. Eu não tem tudo. Colinha não sai ela.